Some Christians believe that God's words in Genesis, let there be light, is a biblical description of the Big Bang, which some scientists say created the universe. But perhaps we Christians should be a little more careful about assuming that modern science knows very much about the origin of the universe. Maybe they got it wrong. Astronomers announced that they had discovered the largest structure yet to be found in the universe. They described the structure as a great wall made up of high concentrations of galaxies. Just to get our perspective, the average galaxy contains over a billion stars. The great wall contains concentrated clumps of galaxies. Something doesn't add up. This discovery delivers two apparently fatal blows to the Big Bang theory. If the universe was the result of a Big Bang, scientists would expect to find stars evenly distributed in space, not clumped, and certainly not built into a giant structure. Second, the clumps of galaxies they found are very precisely and evenly spaced, not the kind of order which results from an explosion. This changes everything. One of the researchers said, it is safe to say that we understand even less than zero about the early universe. There is another good reason for Christians not to try to find the Big Bang in Genesis. According to the Bible, it is the end of the world and the universe and not its beginning which could more accurately be described as a Big Bang. Christ himself has completed your preparations for that day. Are you ready? Ready?